It's been a minute. I know, I know. But I'm back and I come bearing gifts, y'all. <laughs> Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So as y'all can see from the tile down below, it is that time of the year again. Y'all, my birthday is coming up. So of course, you know, it's only fitting that I do a Shein haul for this. Y'all know I love to glitz and glam on my birthday, and I just like gold and all that good stuff. So we're doing a haul. I got a quite a few things in here, but honestly, it's it's a big box, but if I remember correctly, I don't think I got like a whole lot of stuff because I'm not really going too all out this year for my birthday. Um, just doing like a dinner with some friends and all that. So a lot of what I purchased is a lot of buying two different sizes of stuff. If you're not new here, you already know when i buy online or anything like that especially now that i'm working out a lot more i like to buy two sizes because sometimes i don't really know which one is going to fit and then i return the rest instead of having to like rebuy and wait for shipping and all that good stuff so we're going to go through this whole box i'm excited y'all the birthday countdown like is literally right around the corner so i'm super excited and let's try on these clothes because i got places i need to be wearing this stuff too like tomorrow Okay, so before we hop into this haul, I want to give y'all a little secret on how to save a little bit more coins on your next sheet and purchase. If you are new to this channel, then you may not know that I am a Shein Campus Ambassador, which means that I'm able to share with y'all a little tips and discounts and just tricks on how to save a little bit more money on Shein and how to have a better shopping experience, shopping online, especially with Shein. So with that means that I have a special reference code to share with y'all. I'm going to put on this side of the screen how to do the reference code because it's not like your average coupon code where you put it in when you're about to check out and all that sort of stuff. You actually have to go into your app, into your Shein app, press on me, and then there's going to be a section that says my reference. You're going to see an icon that says my reference, and then you're going to want to enter in the code us 39 Two four eight S. This is also the same process like if you were to be shopping online on your computer, on your browser, desktop, or anything like that. You just want to log on to Shein.com. You're going to go to your account. You want to go to settings. You want to click my reference. And then you're going to put in the code us 39248s and if you're having any troubles with that there's also going to be a link down in the description box down below and i'll also pin it in the comments if you just click that it will take you right to it and you won't have to worry about not knowing what to put in or not remembering how to do it and with this on all purchases over 29 dollars which is super easy at least for me it's really easy to get over 29 dollars on shein you're going to save a little bit of extra coins and you're also able to use this reference code on top of any coupon code that you were already planning on using so you're able to save a little bit of extra money not all people know that but i'm just trying to put y'all on game and if you want to know any more tips or tricks on how to shop on shein make sure you follow me on tiktok i'm silly Dre, and make sure you watch my Shein hack video where I tell y'all how to shop and save extra money on Shein because there are a lot of hacks and tips. But let's get back to the haul. The first thing that I want to show y'all is some shoes. I got two pairs of shoes. I'm not going to show y'all them on my feet because like I said, my birthday is coming up and honestly, they're not looking the best right now, but that's because I'm about to do all my maintenance to go out and all that stuff literally tomorrow. So the first shoe that I got are these cute little gold Sandals, like I said, if you know me, you know gold is like my aesthetic. Gold and sparkle, that's just what I like. So I got these as for like, you know, you're going out and you want to wear your heels, but I may be going out and having like an after move and all that. And sometimes heels, like heels are cute. And like, if you know me, you know, I love to walk around in heels. But if you're trying to go out and you're trying to dance, you just want to be comfortable, sometimes heels aren't the best. So I still want to be cute. I still want to give off birthday vibes. still want to give off sparkle, all that sort of stuff. So I got these. They're nice and cute and gold. And then they kind of have like these bedazzled like rhinestones on it. Super, super cute. And they're also all around the edges on the side. These are in, it came in this box right here. So packaged very nice. So they didn't bend or anything like that. They're really good and they are in a size cn 41 i am typically a u.s woman size nine if we're talking about sneakers if we're talking about boots 10 just because i like extra room for socks and then 
For like sandals, I range anywhere from like an eight to eight and a half, if that gives y'all a good reference to know if like where you would fall for getting shoes on Shein in a CN size. <laughs> they fit like to the T. I don't need anything smaller, anything larger. I really like these. I think that's it. these are gonna come in clutch, especially for like after moves and just when your feet get tired. You still wanna get cute, but you don't wanna wear like your Adidas slides or like some random flip flops. You still wanna make it look like these are the shoes that you actually came out the house in. So I would definitely suggest getting these. I'm gonna put all the information and product descriptions down in the description box down below if y'all wanna purchase any of these things as well. Now the next shoe that I got y'all, if you have been following you're not new, one of my other Shein hauls, I bought shoes like this, but they were too big. Like they were, they were like a size and a half, way too big. So I had to return them and I finally got around back to buying from Shein again and i got them again these are slightly different but the same vibe they look like this so they're just like these cute platform heels they have or platform sandals they have this nice ankle strap right here and it's just really cute i like the little bedazzles on it but it's still it's not like too flashy like it's not like this where it's like okay i'm going out or like i'm trying to be a little extra i'm trying to be seen these ones are just like oh like you know i want to be cute but i can still go out for like a walk in the park still something casual i can still like go to the grocery store or something and i tried these on y'all these fit to a t these came in this box so once again package very nice nothing was bent nothing was messed up and it came in these bags those other ones also came in bags as well and this is in a size UK six and like I said fits perfectly fine this time like I'm super excited about being able to wear these because y'all I've been looking for the perfect summer wedge or summer wedge slash platform sandal and I feel like these are really nice because it has like all the colors in it you have your brown you have your black you have your white so honestly you could this is a very versatile you could wear this with pretty much anything let me show y'all again and they give you a little nice lift without being like too high, too tall. I'm really excited about being able to wear these. My only concern, but this has nothing to do with like Shein, it's just me in general. If you know me, you know I don't really like white shoes or anything like that. So I'm gonna be a little like scared to wear these out a whole lot of places only because the sole is white. So it's gonna get dirty, but I mean, I guess they're shoes, they're supposed to get dirty. But that's all that I have for shoes now let's get into the clothes okay y'all so this is the first item not this black shirt under it but just like this fishnet -esque thing let me come close so y'all can see the detail there's kind of little rhinestones inside of it i don't know if y'all could tell but it's just like this fishnet overlay or the top sort of accessory that you could wear over something this is not the shirt that i would recommend wearing under it but you know this is youtube and we're not trying to get demonetized we're not trying to get blocked or restricted or anything like that if i were to wear this and i would do it kind of like how i saw the model doing i'll put a picture to the side if i remember to do that but i would wear this more of like a bikini sort of top or maybe like a bandeau or something and just let this be like the statement piece but honestly y'all i don't know how i feel about this i feel like it looked way better on the model i guess it just has to be styled more that could be the thing but one thing i will say is i was concerned that it wouldn't be as like sparkly and glammy in person but as i'm looking over here into the mirror definitely when there's light shining on it like you're gonna get that sparkle like it's definitely reflective if someone's taking a picture or a video of you or something you're gonna be able to see it but i don't know i'm not sure if i really like this i think the quality of it is pretty good like i'm tugging on it a little bit i wouldn't like pull at it but i'm taking on a little bit and it's not coming apart or anything it is made well but i don't know i just i don't really know where i would wear this for real for real or if it would really be cute i just i don't know i feel like it's something about the cut and like where it's falling on my neck and i don't know it's just not really giving all that i felt like it was supposed to give even just like the way that the sleeves are falling right now it's just i don't know i don't know but let me show y'all the back just so y'all can see so same thing nothing too too crazy 
overall like i said if you're going for like a sparkle glitz or glam i think this is cute i do think this will work well if you're someone who goes to a lot of festivals and stuff because i know a lot of that is just like the sparkles or the fishnets and stuff like that but it's not really my aesthetic but i was like trying to step out there and try something new but yeah i'm gonna be honest this is probably gonna get returned because it's just not i don't really know it's not really my style somebody would have styled it for me but let's move on to the next item okay y'all so this is the first fit this is a jumpsuit i did get this in two sizes i got it in a medium and a large i decided to be a little risky and try out the medium first and y'all this is really nice i will say just if you're new here typically i'm a large in pants and a medium in tops but jumpsuits can kind of be a little weird for me because just my body just disproportionate so yeah the medium works good in this let me come close so y'all can see the material it's kind of it's ever so slightly see-through not like too crazily see-through but like you're definitely going to be able to like see the undergarments but that's like the point a little bit it has kind of like this netting material right here in it and then it's all pretty much netting but the crazy thing about it which i didn't think it would be this is stretchy like it's not it's gonna you're gonna have a little wiggle room in it but at the same time don't expect this to be something that is going to hold you if you're looking for something that's gonna hold you this is not it but i do think you would still be able to wear like your shapewear under it without it looking too too crazy that's probably what i would do just so that it could like cover everything right now i'm wearing black under and i think it's really cute i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this out just because if you know atlanta there's a lot of restrictions on like dress code when you go out places and i feel like sometimes they don't do exposed undergarments even though it's not exposed but i don't know overall i like it let me give y'all a little 360 view hopefully the hair isn't in the way and i paired it with these heels no these heels are not from shein but i'm just you know since i i gotta wear this stuff like tomorrow basically i'm just trying to get fit ideas already in my head and i like that i put it with like a neutral shoe just because this already speaks a lot for itself you don't need a loud shoe on top of this okay let me show y'all the closure in the back it's a long zipper I was able to zip it up myself. Hopefully y'all are able to see the zipper. And it's just all the way down the middle. I was able to do it myself, so it's not gonna be anything too, too crazy to get in and out of. But I like it, I think it's cute. It This is definitely special occasion wear, birthday wear. I think you could wear this like going out if you were like a nightclub or lounge person. I'm not really too, too big into all of that, but I think it would be really cute for something like that not, not dressing cute not a regular day not to brunch or anything but for like a dinner or um like going out with the girls night out on the town lounges bars nightclubs stuff like that this would be really cute i love it you can also pair this with like a nice purse as well i would do like a little small purse but i would do either tan accessories and gold accessories, or I would do um, black just to give it the nice little contrast. But this is really cute. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. If I was bold enough, I would wear this because at the same time, the jumpsuit gives you like the ability to like dance if you want to and just like do whatever you got. run off if you gotta run off without having a dress. And if you're someone with thicker thighs like me, you know dresses, you gotta pull it down every now and then or you gotta make sure that nothing showing in the back but overall this is really cute honestly i don't know i might keep it i don't know i really like this though it's definitely a top contender it's something that i would recommend so i'm gonna make sure i put this information down in the description box below if your birthday's coming up and you're a gold girl like me you're gonna you're gonna want this okay it's cute i like it i like it the only thing that i will say is earlier I guess now that I'm walking around and wearing it a little bit more, it kind of like all settled into place. But earlier, there was like a little extra fabric up here at the top. You don't really see that too, too much anymore, but I like it. And it's good for the summer as well because it is basically all this netting, so it's very breathable. Just had to make sure you're wearing the right undergarments under it. 
because like I said, there's no forgiveness in this and it is see-through, but it's not, it's meant to be see-through. It's not like it was fabric that is see-through and not good quality. This, I mean, honestly y'all, this is a 10 out of 10. This is pushing me out my comfort zone, but it's a 10 out of 10 from me, okay? The first dress, we kind of did switch it up a little bit. I kind of wanted to play off of the fact that I knew I was gonna be doing red hair for my birthday. So this is more of like, I don't know, let's call it like a cherry-ish. It's almost a burnt orange, but it kind of also gives me cherry. I guess it depends on what lighting you're looking in, but you see it's the shimmer, the sparkles. I really do like this. If you've seen some of my other Shein hauls, I think it's the one that I did for homecoming and wedding dresses. I think those were in the same one. I have a dress very similar to this, but in green and it's cute. This dress is cute, but I'm not sure if it's what I wanna wear for like my birthday dinner. For some reason, I guess just like, since it's so long, it's giving me more formal vibes, which is kind of cute. It's classy and timeless sort of, but at the same time, I don't know. I just feel like this is way too long and I don't know what my friends are wearing. And I feel like it's gonna become one of those things where it's just like, y'all didn't come together like you you do want to step out because it's your birthday but the vibe still has to be in the same thing if you know what i'm getting at the only other complaint that i have about this dress is these straps let me come up close so y'all can see this is not this is just my bra y'all know i'm always gonna wear undergarments when i'm doing a haul or trying clothes on but this strap is fine it hasn't given me any issues, but this strap keeps falling off. I don't know why, but it does. But I will say it is, it does have an adjustable strap to it. So maybe I just have to like play around with that a little bit. See, now this one is falling off. <laughs> but I don't know, it is a cute dress. I would wear it if like maybe I had a wedding or like so like something more formal to go to or maybe like a date night or something but let me give y'all a full 360 so i can really get into the dress because it is really cute i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's a really cute dress just not necessarily the vibe i was going for for my birthday if you know what i'm trying to say so here's what it looks like in the front it goes out on the bottom so it does complement the figure very nicely and then in the back it is just this plunge it goes all the way down low so you can just make sure you are aware of like what undergarments you're wearing with this so that it's not shown unless that's the vibe you're going for i know some of the girls these days let's show they stuff that's cute me i wouldn't but you know i'm just letting y'all know be aware of what you're gonna wear with this and you can even be a little risky and pull it down a little bit you know just to give the girls a little bit of upper booty cheek in action and all of that but your back is out, so you're gonna just be aware of that. Whether you're someone who does like the clear bras in the back or taping, just be aware of like this dress. You're going to have to make sure that you know how you're gonna have the girl sit up unless you're just gonna break the net, you know? That's not what I do, because I just, I know I like the security of wearing something, so I would do tape or something like that. Things would be really nice in pictures and just in sparkles and all that sort of stuff. Most likely gonna return this, because I don't really go to too many places where I can dress up this glitz and glam like. Okay, y'all, so here's our second jumpsuit, and I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. This kind of let me down. I'm not even gonna lie, this kind of let me down. So like I told y'all, jumpsuits fit on me weird. So I did get this in two sizes. I got it in, in a medium and a large. And because that first jumpsuit went really well, I decided, you know what? Let's be risky again and try this one in the medium. And I don't think I'd be comfortable wearing this out. Don't get me wrong, y'all. It's very cute. When I first put it on, I was like, okay, this is nice. It's very nice. Let me come up close. Let me show y'all the details. It's very sparkly. Y'all see it's shimmery, but it's not like, it's none of that sparkle that's gonna come off, but it's nice and shimmery fabric. The top part is also really cute. I like the way this comes over. So it's just a little bit more modest. Like I don't have to worry about like everything too, too much because I'm covered a little bit. The back is also a zipper closure like that last one. 
I will say this one was a little harder to pull up by myself only because there aren't straps up here. So it was a little bit harder, but I was able to do it. Overall, really cute, really shimmery, really sparkly. And honestly, I was gonna be like, okay, this is the one. Let's not try anything else on. I really love this. But like I told y'all, because I'm just like not proportional as far as jumpsuits and all that stuff is going. I don't know if y'all have noticed, I've been pulling it up a lot. And y'all, I know I've been working out, but I know I'm not no size small. And honestly, for me to feel comfortable wearing this out, I do think I would need to size down lower in this. This is very stretchy, which is cool. And I think that's why I would size down even more than a medium because for me, like walking around and all that sort of stuff, it's starting to come down. And like, I don't know, I'm just one of those people, I don't like them, like my pants sag lower. Like I like everything to sit up where it's supposed to. And since it's not doing that, and it's just doing a lot of moving around for me, it's just not the best fit. And then also this top portion, there isn't that much like structure in it, which I kind of already knew it was gonna have a whole lot of structure in it. But the issue for me is the fact that like, I don't have a larger chest area or anything like that. There is like this silicone on it so that it can grip, but because I'm not filling in all the area right here, it's not gonna be able to grip all much. And I just feel like if I were able to be actually trying to have fun, I would have to worry about like having to pull this up throughout the night. And the quick fix for that would typically be like fashion tape, like double sided tape or something. But the issue with that is since this is a jumpsuit, if I had to take it off to go to the restroom or anything like that, this fashion tape is now like, it doesn't matter anymore because you done took it off. So that is kind of the biggest concern for me. So I wanna say, this is really cute. I do recommend it. It's not like I don't recommend it. I do recommend this. I really like it, but I would size down for sure. Like don't, don't get it in your size at all. Get it in one size below and two size below and see how it fits. I think the small would work fine because like I said, there's a lot of stretch in this. Like, let me stand up. I could probably fit a whole nother like little small friend in here, but this is like very stretchy. So I feel like if I got a size smaller, it would fit a little bit more like how I would have wanted it to fit and it would have helped hold a little bit. So that's the other thing I was gonna say. This one, just like the other jumpsuit that I put on, there is no hold, so don't expect it to suck you in or anything like that. You're gonna have to wear like shapewear or something if you want something to suck you in. It isn't see-through. That's the one thing that I will say. That's why I'm like, I really, I really wanted this one to work. I really did, because I was just like, okay, this is cute. I can still wear a jumpsuit. I don't have to worry about changing or anything like that. So I can just like dance, feel free without having to do too, too, too much. But it's not gonna work out for me. I do need a size smaller. I wouldn't feel as comfortable as I want to feel wearing this. I would rather wear the other one compared to this one. So yeah, I do recommend it, but get a size smaller. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help y'all get a size smaller if you're gonna get this one. <laughs> okay y'all, and this is the final dress of today's haul. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised by it. It's really cute. It's just this nice floor lip split or slit dress. And it comes with these nice little sequins on it, but it's nothing too, too crazy. Y'all see, it's really cute. Honestly, I like this. I like the slit. It's not too high. It's not too exposing in the way that it drapes down on you. It's still something that you can move around in. I will say, this is a contender. I'm not gonna rule it out. I'm going to have to sleep on it, honestly. Cause if I do wear this, I would end up having to change if I decide to go out later on. Cause I'm not gonna wear this out in like a lounge or something. Like I could, but I'm not. <laughs> um, but this could be cute, like a cute dinner vibe or something. I really do like it. I like that it's sparkly. This is different for me because I don't think I've ever tried on a one shoulder sort of thing. Or maybe I have, I don't know. But I'm not a huge fan of like the one shoulder dresser or anything. But I really do like this. It's really nice. Let me show y'all 
the back. There is a zipper on this side. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but there's a zipper right on this side. It goes all the way around. It's really cute. This is a contender. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. It's not scratchy or anything like that. I think it would be really nice in pictures, especially with like flash and just lighting, just everything reflecting off of it. You're gonna look like a disco ball. I don't know if that's how y'all would look, but me personally, when I wear sparkles or something, I wanna shine bright. So disco ball is kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cute. I think this would be really nice for a nice formal or elegant sort of dinner, if that's what you're doing for your birthday or even just a formal occasion like a red carpet or a premiere or anything like that. Or even like a wedding. I don't know, sometimes I say weddings, you want to tone down a little bit because it's not your wedding. <laughs> but this could still be really cute. So I like it. It is a contender. I'm not sure if it will be getting returned. I will say I did get, I did also get this in a medium and a large. The medium, it could go on, but the slit was just a little too revealing in that one for me. I like this one a little better. I'm more comfortable with wearing this slit out compared to if I were to wear the medium. So I guess it just really depends on how comfortable you are as far as like how much thigh you wanna show and all that sort of stuff. But really cute dress overall. Okay y'all, so this is the end of today's Shein haul. I hope y'all were able to get a little bit of inspiration if you're going for that sort of gold, shimmery, sparkly vibe for your birthday or any special occasion. Overall, I think we had some really good picks. I think the biggest thing was just trying to find the right sizing and just figuring out what your overall look is, whether you're going for more like the party vibe, more versatile or more formal. So we have, we have some really good picks and even down to the shoes. I think the shoes are gonna look really good which with, with whichever option I do end up going with. If you wanna know, you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I'm Steely Drew because of course you know, I'm gonna be taking pictures and taking reels and videos because I don't think I'm going to record when I go out to eat with the girls just because I haven't seen them in some time. So I just wanna be able to catch up and really just be in the moment with them. But I will do like small clips and stuff for TikTok, of course. So you're gonna have to follow me on those so you can see what I end up going with and what the final decision was. But I'm really excited to be able to wear this. I'm really excited for my birthday coming up. Every year, I feel like I'm up and down with emotions around my birthday. But this year, I'm deciding to make it a positive one and just really take advantage of everything. Just another reminder, if you are about to shop on Shein and you wanna save a little bit of extra coins, I am a Shein Campus Ambassador, and that means I can share my reference code with you all. Save a little bit more money on every order over $29. My reference code is US39248S. That's US39248S. I'm gonna have something on the side of the screen that shows you how exactly to enter that in. And there'll be a link down in the description box down below if you just want a faster way of being able to input it into your account. It's gonna be there and as long as you purchase stuff, it's going to exist for at least three months, but you can always reapply it back to your account and it will still work whenever you're trying to make purchases. And make sure you're putting that on top of your coins and on top of your coupons and making sure that you're shopping on free shipping day. But if you wanna know more about all those hacks, you gotta follow me on TikTok cause that's when I be dropping all the hacks and letting y'all know when these things are going on. But I love you all so, so much. Like I said, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm Steely Drew because I'm trying to post on there more often. You're able to see me more regularly on those things and connect with me a little bit more. If your birthday is also coming up, or if your birthday has passed, I wanna say happy, happy birthday. Birthdays are a really special thing. I hope you're able to just relax, enjoy your time, do something for yourself, be able to like reflect on what the year has been. This is your new year, time to take just a breather on what has gone on so far and where you wanna go in the future. But I love y'all so, so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dree, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.